Okay, unless you've been living in a rock for the past month, the most remarkable uh, game out right now is uh, something called um, Unrecorded. Kind of shows how amazing graphics are, and you know, as a beginner, you know, this is absolutely nothing you could uh, think about creating, right? But as I look at this game, it does look like Hot the best fire. game I've Hot ever fire. seen. But what's remarkable is the, the head movement, the motion. It looks all handheld. I'm sure this was recorded with some kind of motion capture device, but should a beginner um, ever have this kind of uh, fluidity? I mean, even if you look at AAA rated games, the, the cameras are static. Like this is cyberpunk, you know? A billion dollars was made making this game, but look at the camera. It's stuff you know how to do right now, right? It's nothing like that game that we just saw. Same thing with Halo. It's there, has the head box for walking, but when you actually stop, see it's still that kind of, except for the, the bobbing while you walk, it's still that perfectly locked camera as this. It just kind of blows you away. You know, again, the graphics are fantastic, the vignetting, we know how to do the vignetting, um, but can you do something that adds a little bit of this, this quality to your games? Okay, we're back, and this is what the static camera, again, I mean, this doesn't look half bad. We can add the vignetting, we're going to do some post-processing, but it's like, you know, has the head bob and it looks, looks good. But if you, it boils down to, just like the AAA games, it's perfectly horizontal with no motion, you know? So let's go ahead and see if we can introduce a little bit motion and just as a complete beginner. Okay, one way we could do it is add some random motion to the camera, but uh, I think I'm gonna cheat and uh, I'm gonna grab the, the joint of the head actually. That's what, uh, kind of holds the camera in place. Whatever first person camera controller you you use, there's gonna be something that's holding the camera. If you don't have this, you can create a cube and move your camera onto it. But this guy, the first person controller, has a joint. Instead of uh, doing all the shaking, let's go ahead and cheat and make this an animation that's built onto the joint. Okay, so I'm gonna click the joint. I'm gonna to go to inspector, add a component. I'm gonna add an animator. Okay, it doesn't have anything to it. So I'm gonna to go to my project folder. I'm just gonna right click, create, animator controller. I'm using 2022 and we'll call this um, head motion. Okay. So go back to our neck joint, go to the animator, and I'm gonna drive this onto the controller. All right, so now we need to create an animation for this guy. If we double click head motion, it's gonna pull up the animator. If you don't see this, go to Windows, um, Animator tab, and you'll see this. Right now there's no animation to it yet. So what I want to do now is pull up the animation tab, window, animation, animation, and there we are. There's nothing going on here. Click on joint, and we're gonna uh, create a new animation clip. We're gonna create it, and we'll call this head motion. Whoa! Sorry, you gotta put up with my with my spelling. So now let's do a couple things. So first we're gonna have him kind of just naturally looking looking around just a little bit. So if we go to um, position, we're gonna leave the height alone. Um, maybe we'll make the head go up and down like we're breathing. Okay, so we're gonna do this over um, only 60, 60 frames, but we're gonna make it slower later. So we're gonna do record and we're gonna set the this thing to about halfway. And we're gonna make the head go down just a little bit. Um, 72, maybe 70. No, what was it before? Z, 72, we'll go from 72 just to 70. 
and then when we go back here to the last, last frame, the 60th frame, we're going to go back to 72. And let's go ahead and scrub that. It's just barely noticeable. Okay, that's our breathing. Now as far as the um, rotation, we're going to have it just rotate just so slightly in some directions. So 17. Go back to here. Make sure that's zero. Registers that keyframe. Back over to here. We're gonna make this something a little bit different. Okay, just a little subtle. Now, I think the kicker is on this is when we do the rotating of the head because most games, like I pointed out, are always like zero in in horizontal. So that's where the fun's gonna come in. So we got a rotation, that's fine, zero it out. So now barely here, we do a little bit of that. Just barely noticeable. Just make sure that um, all our numbers are zeroed out at the end. Okay, so this is the final result. It took about like five minutes. Um, didn't seem like it was rocket science, and this is something I'm definitely going to keep in my game, and it seems to add a lot to it instead of the static camera. All right, cool. Hope this gave you uh, some ideas to add into yours. All right, take it easy.